Hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is a short message of love of the lessons that you have learned and what messages are coming on here for you now. What lessons? If you're not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the bell. And if you like your personal reading with me, that information is on the screen now or in the link below. Let's get started and let's see what messages are coming out here for you. What lessons have you learned? What were your experiences teaching you? So we have, I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. I wish I could be fully honest with you. I need to figure myself out. All right, so the lessons here were you to come into self-realization and to really be honest with yourself and what it is that you feel that you deserve. So I don't want to be who I used to be. That's a message from yourself, literally to yourself, because you're recognizing you deserve better when it comes to the matters of the heart. But how you felt about yourself brought on the experiences that you had. So if there was a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-honesty, fear, codependency, then you're now recognizing that, wait a minute, by needing to figure myself out, I need to spend some time alone to understand myself better, to really connect and fully connect with myself so I can truly know and be honest with what it is that I truly deserve. So the messages are here are very plain and open in sight is saying, you know, what is it that you need to learn? What you need to learn is, um, is in really getting to know yourself. And here we have uh, in separation, and it says healing boundaries, time apart. So again, I don't want to be who I am, who you used to be, I deserve better. So those of you that are now in separation, you're healing because time apart really puts boundaries for you to really get to know yourself. The next card out is longing. I've been searching for you. It says, I wish I could be fully honest with you. And this longing, so this longing and this searching is that, you know, when we're looking at our outer conditions and we're seeking for valid, validations and we're longing to be loved and we're longing to be held and we're longing to be told on how beautiful and special we are, what happens is that we kind of lose ourselves in relationships. And in really being honest with yourself is that were you longing for something that was already gone? So this is where you're being honest for yourself. You've been searching. You were searching for that love. You were searching for that connection. And that connection brought you into a place of, I need to figure myself out. Self-care, loving me, growing without you. So as you're self-caring and loving yourself, you're getting to know yourself. You're becoming more intimate with you. The lessons here were ones of boundary, were time apart, was were searching for what you've been longing. And that is really to connect with self by bringing that self-care to what it is that you need at this time. I have some messages coming on here for you and says, be kind to yourself. Yes. How are you being kind to yourself? What do you say to yourself? What thoughts and feelings do you choose on a moment to moment? What do you do on a daily basis? Uh, how do you bring joy into your own life? Let go of outcomes of what should happen. Again, if we're sitting in outcomes, then what you're doing is that you're just waiting. There is no what should happen. Things happen the way they happen based on vibration and based on where your thoughts and feelings are. So when we let go of the outcomes, then you can be the observer by recognizing what has happened, right? So this is about you coming into self-aware and becoming honest with yourself. Were you in a place of this is what needs to happen in order for you to be happy? And... We have here, I have two myths, so I'll put one more. Let me just grab one here. Again, so many cards want to come out. I have learning to appreciate solitude. This is where you find what you need is within. Yes, through separation, through being with yourself, solitude is one of the most beautiful gifts that we have. And, and it's funny, Virgo, that is actually like the hermit card. So this is where you're finding your way back to yourself by what you need. The lessons here was really to self-care and really be kind to yourself and let go of your attachments to the outside of what you think 
things should have been like instead of looking at what had happened in your own vibrations and your own thoughts and feelings to where you can transform those from the inside out to where you're not a victim to what should have but really look at what had happened and the lessons that it brought for you the gift is in the lesson is not in the outcome of what you think should have happened because then you're not looking at the reality of what had happened and how you felt about yourself in this relationship and we have separation time again time apart from your partner is on the horizon so one more time separation comes one more time and this is just coming in saying hey if you're not already apart this is showing up just to show you that time apart brings more understanding and self-awareness self-knowledge about how you feel about yourself and and the beliefs that you have so you can transform those when i pull back it means that you need to go inside yourself and focus on your own growth and healing i mean every card is pulling is that i'm pulling is showing it's time to pull back it's time for you to go inside it's time for you to focus on your own growth and on your own healing because this is about you really getting to know yourself to be true to yourself by really accepting where you are at this time and letting go of any blame or anything on the outer of what you thought it should have been because everything that has happened is to push you to have you grow from the inside out to become a higher and better version of you. So every relationship truly is a gift to show you how you feel about yourself. Embrace. And it says, through each other, you find the missing pieces. Yeah, it is through each other that we find that part of us that is disconnected from ourselves. So someone's rejection or someone not behaving in the way that you need them to behave really shows you those missing pieces that are inside of you. Until next time, sending you so much love, so much light. Namaste.